Hi everyone, it's Veronica here and welcome to our weekly styling guide. This week's episode of Wear This With That Week 24. So part of the joy of being part of the Vintage Meet Modern Styling Society is getting to see how we could really actually make the vintage jewelry modern. Hence, this is why it's Vintage Meet Modern. And we love to embrace how you can take what's already hanging in your closet or what you might be shopping and seeing in the stores and make it completely personal and unique to yourself. So if you're new to joining us, welcome. I'm Veronica, founder of Vintage Meet Modern Jewelry and Styling, and I've worked in the accessories and jewelry industry for over 20 years. And my passion is helping women look and feel their best by dressing in details and no dressing room required. But it is a fact. We all do have to get up and get dressed every day and we need to put clothes on. So how do we take what's either hanging in our closet or if we're picking out outfits to go to special events, how could we use this week's collection to truly make it distinctive, memorable, and unique just like you? And so there are a lot of absolutely gorgeous pieces that we have this week. Uh, this week has obviously been a bit inspired by the upcoming 4th of July holiday. So we have a lot of really gorgeous red Red, white and blue pieces so the red white and blue pieces what I like to remind people is that it's fun to be able to do something that's festive and unique but don't think that you are pigeonholed into wearing these pieces either just once during the specific time of year or secondly that you know that it won't be have the ability or the flexibility to be able to go with other things when we think of red white and blue as a whole unless we enjoy really being able to dress that much in detail and we're planning our outfit around it, which I personally am. But for some of us, that's not how we roll. But the point is, there's a lot of different ways that you can take the pieces that we have this week and really create a really gorgeous look that you can enjoy today, tomorrow, and forever, because that's what we're all about. So the first piece that I wanted to point out is that we have absolutely these gorgeous, huge, uh, these are an enclosed rhinestone. They are a 1980s does art deco look. They're an oversized statement earring. And what I do love about these is, is that they literally go with everything. You can pull this off for a denim and diamonds type look, or you can use this to add a little bit of sparkle to whatever you're putting on for a night out, regardless of the color. You can never go wrong with the clear colorless look because it really does truly go with everything. But we have a lot of other really great pieces this week that are really easy to wear for both the upcoming holiday and to be able to be worn time and time again. And so I'm going to be showing you a few looks. And if you had questions about how maybe you could actually wear some of those pieces that we did show this week, I'm going to show you ways to make them tasteful, elegant, distinctive, and completely unique to you. So let's start out first and foremost. And our good friend in this group, Nancy Williamson, had said something about how where she grew up, they actually did a festival where it was a really big deal to get the wheel because it was a pass to go for some sort of festival. And I love the fact that she shared that history lesson with us because it's something that immediately when she saw it, it triggered a really happy memory for her. And that, you know, she said that it actually got to the point where she said people have entire collections of them and she showed some of those pictures and so this is a fun way to do a couple different things it's a fun thing to have either a nod to your childhood and something that brings back happy memories to you or it also has a nod to something that you know was once important to you and how you can kind of playfully work that back into your wardrobe here here we're showing you this is a blazer that is actually from my own personal closet this is a j crew linen blazer it's a navy blue many of you may have a navy blazer hanging up in your closet and this is a fun and easy way that you can be able to add this sort of unique styled piece which is that ship's wheel but actually make it look really classy and really elegant it looks really great just against the navy blue you could still wear this with other gold jewelry it has the tassel which makes it kind of timeless and fun hey and so I'm showing you that you know you don't have to just think of you could wear this just one way I would also put this on maybe a black and white striped boat neck tee but it also looks great on a blazer as well you could also wear this fastened to a dress there's just a lot more uses for it than just thinking that it's kind of kitschy and cute 
it actually has a very unique style to it. This would be great if you were going to something that was either for a regatta or if you are somebody who lives by the sea. I mean, there are all kinds of reasons why we may gravitate towards these types of things. And I assure you, the quality of this piece is so good. It's probably not like one of those little things that you would receive at the little kitty prize wheel or things like that if you were down at home at your own fair. This would be a very chic and elegant way to add it to your look. Another piece that I wanted to highlight that I think is another really great wear this with that is we have a red bezel set necklace from Swarovski, which blends perfectly with the whole red, white, and blue. But here we're playing it up again. This is an actual outfit that I have. This is an actual outfit from my closet. This is just a denim skirt, a pair of red patent leather shoes. This is, I got a sweet little strawberry sweater that's actually from J. Crew Factory. And then it's being paired with a black, um, a navy and a white polka dot blouse. This is a perfect example of how that this is very subtle red, white, and blue. We're actually adding in the addition of a soft pink. We're adding just a hint of sparkle. There's quite a few pieces this week in addition to the red bezel set that you could also do if you wanted to pair red with pink. This is a great look. This is a nice longer necklace. This is a heavy mogul piece that is from Monet. This would be a great piece to put with things this week. If you like, again, like a little bit of the bubble bead. Again, this is a piece that you could easily mix with other pieces, but this is another real easy way of wear this with that for you to be able to subtly mix the pale pink with the navy blue for a very subtle red, white, and blue look. This is something that you could wear year round and not feel weird or strange about it at all. This is another example of how I like to be able to show you incorporate your own personal style and be able to take the elements of what other colors you work to be for your favorite. Pink just happens to be one of my favorite colors, but blue also happens to be one of my favorite colors too. I don't always wear them all together, but this is a perfect example of how that you can at this time of the year be able to very sophisticatedly pull all of these colors together to fit with actually our festivities and like I said, wear them apart in the future. Moving on, let's take a look at a dressier look that also incorporates red, white, and blue. So this is a fun dress that is actually from Anthropology. It is a red, white, and blue dress. It has the pattern on it. Again, it has a subtle floral scene, so we're not screaming anything related to patriotic, but we're mixing in the beautiful jewelry that we see this week, and we're adding it to that look. So we're making it Together, we're showing how that you can pull any of those red, white, and blue pieces out to complement the red, white, and blue in one dress, which I really do like a lot. I think that it's a really easy way to be able to do it. And again, if you're investing in pieces that are going to be able to go the distance for something like this, you'll be able to wear them time and time again. These hoops are absolutely one of my favorite. They are with a genuine mother of pearl agate. They are with the gold. They are pierced. They're not too big. They're not too small. They do have the look of fine jewelry. I'm telling you, these are very, very well made. Several of the women in our group actually have these earrings, and they can tell you they're not like the little chintzy hoops that you buy just at like one of the less expensive accessory stores. These are actually a higher quality gold-plated hoop, and in addition to that, if you do take off the pierce, I'm not encouraging you to do that. But if you do want to be able to take it off, you can take the bead off of the earring and you can be able to wear it then just as a hoop. These are a great addition to be able to wear with something. And here's a perfect example of how we are doing our part. We are shopping vintage. These are actually new old stock from a department store. And here's an example of how we were just pairing it with this very classic navy and white blazer or bangle. We're pulling up on the cream that's in the bangle and we're matching it to the navy. And then we're being able to put it on really simply with a dress of these colors and then pulling out our favorite colors or complementing the color that we love the best. So that's another perfect example of how you can very easily be able to wear at this collection with dresses and things like that. You know, you can also do classic pearls with the red, white, and blue looks also. This is another one that this is so timeless that it's very easy to be able to wear these things with this type of look over and over again. You also can very easily be able to wear them with those hoops. I love that this has got the mother of pearl that you're picking up on it. 
They all go together. You can wear this with your fine jewelry. This is a genuine semi-precious stone. So we're talking about an excellent higher quality and we're also not talking about synthetic materials. And that is the reason why it's so amazing and awesome to be able to add something from Vintage Meet Modern to your look. You're getting something that is unique and completely personal to you. All right. Another look that I love and adore this week, and this one has kind of got a really great sort of boho chic meets a hot couture. This is a sort of peasant style blouse with the eyelet, and we're showing it being able to be rocked two ways. This is the way that you're taking something that already has a very neutral background. It does have some texture and some uniqueness. It's got the eyelet that's going on it. It's going with the high ruffles. I love the idea of being able to put the necklace that we're showing from Escada for something like that. And the reason why is because all the different layers of the necklace are actually going to bring out all the different layers that you're seeing in that sleeve. So this is a situation where people say to me, wow, that necklace is so big. How deep of a neckline would you need to wear in order for it to be able to fill your neck? Don't worry and stress so much over the neckline. If you actually have a high neck, it's actually going to lay on top of it, and then it's going to complement it and lay on top of it. So that is going to give you that very higher-end couture luxury feel for it. Also, if you're somebody that doesn't like wearing V-necks or scoop necks or things like that, a necklace like this is a perfect backdrop to be able to wear against a higher necked fabric and neckline. So, and you can really go big, bold, and beautiful, and you can pair it with something like the gigantic kind of J. Lane cuff. You're just going to be giving it this sort of bohemian chic, but edgy look that so many of you absolutely love and adore. And you're really going to be buying something that is completely unique to you. We don't get very much of Scotta jewelry. So it's kind of fun to be able to put something like this and then think of all the other different ways you would be able to wear it. You would receive endless compliments every time you did. All right, let's talk about another fun look that we have here. And so this is another example of how that you can be very playful with this week's collection. These are actually a light blue leather pant and it has been paired with a black and a white tee. So this is channeling two things. It could either be channeling that nautical style that we love with the stripes and the black and the white and the sort of the boat shoes and those types of things and stuff like that. We have the little basket bag or Parisian women are also really very well known for their love of stripes and solids. This is a perfect play on just a little bit of pattern mixed with a solid color and how elegant and chic that that can look. This plays perfectly for being able to add something like the multi-strand gold chain necklace. Uh, it's going to lay just a little bit above something like that with this neckline. This is also a perfect example of how that this is a jewelry box essential. This look is a very timeless look. Whether you like the light blue leather crop, pants or you like the black and the white striped shirt. This is what we talk about when women are saying, well, I really like to be able to pick great basics. This is where you get inspired by the colors or by the look or by the pattern. And you can say, I can do that. Yeah, I can really easily do that. And then I can totally be able to pull off a beautiful necklace like this and add that warmth and the elegance of the gold tone. And that this necklace is heavy. It is well made. It is going to do nothing but complement the look. It is going to make it look more polished, more unique, more distinctive. It is a perfect example of wear this with that because it's going to achieve that effortless chic look that you want the same way that you feel like it's effortless, chic, happy. And you'll just feel confident even though you'll be dressed more casually. So there is another look that I love and adore this week. Now, for our girls who really do truly love that bohemian chic lifestyle or they live in just that classic jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and white shirt or maybe khakis and white shirt mode, there are a couple really great pieces that are definitely worth taking the time to look at that are not as flashy and maybe not as polished as the classic gold pieces. There is a very unique, very large, we haven't really talked about this one. This is a large piece of sodalite. It has got very beautiful striations of glittery gray and blue running through it, and it is sterling silver. This is the perfect piece to be able to wear with an 
sort of look that's like this. This is bringing out your bohemian chic style. It is attached to a silver beaded necklace and for that just tiny hint of sparkle that even our girls who love those bohemian chic styles, we're pairing it with the big gigantic candy studs. So you're actually bringing out the silver that's in the silver tone as well as the glitter. And I really wish if you could get up close, you would see there's lots of glitter going on up over in here. It's just such a really lovely combination of pieces. And there's a lot of other pieces that you would be able to very easily be able to wear with those as well. We've got a pair of really beautiful blue earrings that have got the little bit of rhinestones in it. This is going to bring out the denim color as well as you could very easily do the very simple milk glass. You can do the white on white, which is also very pretty. And it all enhances that sort of white tee that we have. We also have got this very thin sort of little blue necklace for our girls that prefer the things that are a little bit daintier. This is a vintage Avon necklace that has got this very light pale blue with the faux pearls in it. And what's perfect about this is you can either wear this with other gold jewelry or you could wear it with a pair of pearl studs. But it would kind complement that very simple classic white tee and classic jeans that so many of us just wear today. I mean, I myself am a mother myself, so I'll tell you, in between running around with my children and meeting with clients and things like that, it's not unusual for me to be able to gravitate towards these looks myself. Here comes Mr. Michael. He would like to say hello. What's that? That's okay. <laughs> Mr. Michael and I are going to play Cars Memory Match after this when we get off of this. So I promised him that that would be our afternoon treat with each other. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more looks before I sign off for the afternoon. And I'm sorry, that's one thing you'll get about being here in the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society is that this is a family business and we are really truly a family affair. All right. How about the fun side of being able to add splashes of colors? We just showed you a denim look with a classic denim jean and a white shirt. Now we're showing you how you can take a classic denim chambray shirt and you can mix it with a pair of red or coral pants. There are so many different places that you could do with this. We showed Dressily. I wore this top the other day, which like I said, I'm a huge fan of Ann Taylor. So I'm wearing that sapphire blue Ann Taylor top and I'm matching it with these huge headlight earrings. But I also showed it paired with that really beautiful domed necklace as well with the rhinestones and the tassel on the bottom. This would be a way that you could take a casual look and you could add some sparkle to it and really make it very unique. You're going to bring bringing out that reddish coral color in the pants. You could wear the matching earrings. But if that's not your jam and you're not looking for a huge necklace, this is also a perfect opportunity to take just one earring or not one, a pair of earrings, but be able to take one piece or one color and accent it with the color of choice. So here we're also showing that if you didn't want to do a necklace, you could very easily do something like the Joan Rivers earrings where you're wearing that classic denim chambray shirt, no necklace, but just a real classic fun earring. And you can tell that even though this earring has a little bit of rhinestones, it's got a little bit of play in the light coral color and the deeper red color. This is totally suitable for daytime. It's a really great look and it's such a different look from just wearing your basic hoop or your basic gold stud earring or your basic silver stud earring. I encourage you to push yourself a little bit to wear a statement earring during the day and see just how much more distinctive you will be making your look by adding something to the solid colors that you have with a little bit more interest and a little more pattern and a little more design. Now, let's talk about the last look, which is a look that I actually really love. This reminds me so much of those fun 1920s and 1930s movies looks that we love and adore, the ones where we would see everybody from Shirley Temple in to uh, sort of Ginger Rogers type style pieces where this is that really fun jumpsuit. Now, I know we've talked before about how that, you know, well, I'm not a fan of the jumpsuit and everything. I totally get it. I'm not actually a fan of them myself either. But what I do love is I do love that we're taking this really playful nautical look and actually really doing it well. This is a chic and stylish, sophisticated look. This piece is actually from Anthropology. We've matched it up with the small anchor earrings. 
which are these, but you could also wear those really long statement earrings that we have, or if you're not a fan of the anchors, if you think that you're just too much, you could do the classic red and gold with it, and then you could complement it with the red shoe as well. This is also a look that if you're thinking, well, I really love the way that this looks, but I would never wear it. This is just a great way to be able to think outside of the box of how you could find different accessories to complement the classic navy. That is another thing, though, that is really important to think about is that, you know, OK, maybe you're not going to wear a nautical style jumpsuit from anthropology. But the navy and the white is something that we all wear time and time again, from deep navy denim jeans to maybe a navy jeans skirt to classic navy pants with white shirt. How about a navy on top? and a navy on bottom. It's really fun to be able to see the addition of just one color, which is the red, and how you can really make it come alive like that. So there's just so many options. And if you're not really into, again, like I said, if it's a little bit too much with you with the jumpsuit, with you don't like the way that you've got the nautical, just think of all the different shades of all the different kinds of earrings that you would be able to either wear with just navy just red or just white. There were so many great earrings this week and there are a lot of earrings that are very comfortable and very easy to wear. This collection this week really spoke to being able to fit a little bit with everybody's lifestyle. You know, we have the pierced candy studs where you can't go wrong with them. They're just huge sparkly studs that go with anything and everything, plus they're pierced. If you like the big, huge, dramatic earrings, we also had the huge clips that were the anchors, the sort of mariner style, the sort of preppy, you know, it's got even the little bow down at the bottom. These were really great. These are especially for our girls who love our big, gigantic statement earrings. But then, like I said, we also had these 1920s, 1930s era frosted glass. They're set in sterling silver. They're hallmarked Czechoslovakia. They just have this sort of effervescent glow to them. Them. They're going to really bring out your hair color. They're going to complement a blue eye color. And this shade of blue, the way that it is, I mean, it looks more blue because I'm wearing it with blue. But if you were to pick it up with the red or the coral or other colors that we're showing today, it's also going to just be able to be that soft addition of a color that's really going to make the look be more unique. So there's this ability with the accessories to be able to bring things together as there is to be able to also accentuate things and make things more unique to yourself. Want to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> so I really truly hope that you have enjoyed this week's collection there's a lot of different things for a lot of different people I love the fact that like I said if you think of going one way and you're going to be wearing a lot of colors and patterns the rest of the summer take the time to look at those pieces that are clear the ones that are going to go with everything the ones that you're going to be able to wear dressy and casual if you're a person that likes to pick up on one color do that Pick up one color or think of things the way that I was saying, like there's different shades of blue. There's different shades of pink. Those are all variations of being able to pull the red, white, and blue together. So I hope that this has been helpful. I really love when you girls come back and you put your comments and you talk about the pieces that you love and adore. I really enjoy when you take the time to show me what you're wearing, what you're going to be doing this weekend. I want to see your sparkle. And as always, if there's something that's here that we can either help shoot you a selfie of, give you other styling information. If you have an outfit at home that you're looking for the perfect piece of vintage jewelry or a designer jewelry to complement it. Challenge us to find it. That is what we are here for, and that is what we are all about. So I hope you really enjoy this episode of Wear This With That. Uh, please tell me which look is your favorite, and we'll be putting up the links to these a little bit later on today. And I wish you all a really fabulous, wonderful weekend. It is over 90 degrees here in Chicago, so I will be wearing less jewelry, more sunscreen, and hanging out by the pool. And so until we meet again, I am signing off. I hope that you will look and feel your best by dressing in details. And remember to please celebrate your inner sparkle so that you can let your personal style shine. Have a fabulous Friday, and I will see you guys all really soon. Bye.